Hello, Grade 11s. Have you ever struggled to work out how to install an electrical appliance correctly or to put furniture together? In this lesson, we are going to learn how to read assembly diagrams and follow the instructions. The manuals that come with products can be very confusing. We need to work through them carefully and methodically before starting to do the job. In most of these manuals, the first thing we need to do is to identify all the actual parts shown in the drawings and arrange them ready to use. Once we have matched these, quite a lot of the confusion is already solved. The next thing to do is to follow the assembly instructions in the correct order. Look at both the diagrams and the words if they are both. Let's go and see how to follow instructions to build a bookshelf. In these instructions, the parts that are added are shown in orange in each step. Step 1. Attach the shelf guides to the left and right panels. Insert the screws as shown. Step 2. Attach the horizontal shelves to one of the side panels. Again, insert screws as shown. Step 3. Join the two sides and secure with screws. Step 4. Add the base parts and attach them with screws. Step 5. Move the shelf to the upright position and attach the top part with screws. Step 6. Attach the back panel with screws. As you can see, if you know what parts you're working with, it is easy to assemble anything. Now let's look at the wiring diagram of a plug. The earth wire is green and yellow and goes to the top terminal. The blue neutral wire goes to the left and the brown live wire to the right terminal. Let's use this diagram to wire a plug in studio. To wire a plug, you will need the following equipment. A plug, a screwdriver, a pair of pliers and a craft knife. Let's look at the parts of a plug first. The top terminal is used for the earth. The live wire connects to this terminal and the neutral is on the other side. Open the plug using the screwdriver. Now check that the whole wire reaches the top or earth terminal. Make a mark on the cord at the cord grip. Use the craft knife to score the outside of the cord gently to take off the outer insulation. Make sure the inner insulation of the three wires is not cut or damaged in any way. Expose a small portion of copper wire in each wire using the craft knife and pliers to score and pull. Twist each bunch of copper wires to make sure they stay together. Feed the whole cord through the cord grip. Feed copper wires through the holes in each terminal in the correct way. Yellow-green is for earth, brown or red is for live, and blue is for neutral. Be sure to tighten the screws in each terminal to keep the wires in place and secure the cord properly in the cord grip. Make sure that you close the plug correctly and screw everything into place firmly. Thanks, Abram. <laughs> Wiring a plug is an important skill to have, but make sure you always follow the directions properly. There are many different kinds of assembly diagrams, but the principles are the same for most of them. The principles are read through the instructions, identify the parts and get the parts ready for assembly, follow the steps in order, check that each step is completed correctly before going on to the next step. Now you have a technique for reading instructions and diagrams to assemble objects. There's no excuse for getting it wrong the next time you need to do one of these tasks. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Diagrams, Plans and Models task video. You'll also be able to learn more about plans and assembly diagrams on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. I love it when a plan comes together. Goodbye. <laughs>